Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. For today's video, we have patch notes, plus there's been some other information put out for those future events, and details on our new hero here, so let's take a look. So it's been a busy week with Eternal Evolution with Twilight. What do you guys think about that darn new series of Chapter 16 bosses? Whew. I actually am on stage 16-10, but I cannot beat it. Like, it's hard, and I don't even think if I had multiple days. Like, okay, a lot of days, I could slowly chip away at it, but... I don't think I am beating chapter 16 of Twilight this time around. I'm definitely going to be stuck at the final stage, but it's fun learning a new mechanic. And along with that in mind, we actually have some more new bosses, new mechanics coming for our patch notes. So I'm going to go ahead and read through our patch notes for today. But I guess before we get into that, I'll quickly talk about this new hero. So we have a Wenfair Vanguard Triple S level hero here, Barog. Uh, let's see, it'll be available. He says, they say ra ah, Rage and Forced Teleportation. So he's got an ultimate where he jumps up and charges, swinging his blades, dealing damage to all targets along the way, equal to a certain percentage of his attack. The skill cannot be critical. And you know what? I'm not going to read through all the rest of this, but I will have this up on the screen like I have for the moment. And yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. Um, seems like a interesting character here. Look at the visuals. Although it's kind of annoying, like how many Wenfair characters they really going to put in the game here. I don't know what you guys think. They keep putting the same Wenfair Vanguard. How many Wenfair Vanguards do we really need? If anything, I had the idea of one more tank being added for Wenfair where you could have like an armored bear or like an armored panda bear, kind of like his dark materials, golden compass style, you know, give us like an armored polar bear or something fun that could be considered a tank instead of a Vanguard. I don't know. But they keep putting Vanguard, Vanguard, Vanguard in <laughs> into this uh, faction. But anyway, it's fine. So we also had this teaser for this endless battle. I'm going to move myself over here. Bonus, point bonus heroes show as the new hero plus Leo and Crete. So it looks like we're going to be getting something special here, which I know is mentioned in the patch notes. Um, Multi-day battle looks like we got like a two-week thing maybe. There's an exchange shop for completing it, uh, ranking, event rankings, event missions, and event raffle shop. Plus, I'm not sure here what this is trying to show. Maybe this is the boss, a bonus boss, and there's a different boss for uh, each day, like depending on which one you lock or unlock. I, oh yeah, two different bosses. So it seems like they're trying to incorporate the idea of the holiday event endless bosses into a regular event that might not be around a holiday so i like that it sounds good to me looks cool i like this because you can really practice uh your team and it's a fun way to test damage for things too you could always use it as an excuse to like test different sets on someone and see what your best output is you can test different team compositions and it's kind of a fun trial period or period trial grounds battlegrounds as well so this this looks like it'll be interesting we'll have to see how it goes assuming it's gonna be just like those christmas and i think what was it valentine's day easter events as well that we've they've been doing that quite a bit and it's pretty cool all right now we're gonna move me here and pop up these patch notes so we have patch notes um of course i'm gonna read through all of those details now and I'll have them up on the screen. So first of all, of course, we have the new hero, the Wenfair that we showed here on the screen. <laughs> and along with that will be a recruitment event with him, Oisa, and Kane. So that's going to be at higher rates. Keep in mind, guys, as it says down further, the project, devel project premium development event will be open not the hero rally so if you are gonna do any more limited summons plus your advanced 
and you want to really max out a hero rally event if you're going to do any more limited than just one like set to get a copy you want to save that for the hero rally event that will be open in one week then you'll be able to get this guy here unfortunately it's like that also makes you wait to do an event with him which makes no sense so I really hope that they still consider, strongly consider, switching out the events in the future to be the other way around. Give us Hero Rally on day one of this guy. Don't give us the darn Project Premium Development on the day one of a new character. It kind of goes against the whole point of making people excited to do summons, especially if they want to do... Um, summons for duplicates and pull 100, 200, 300 limited tickets at once instead of just sporadically using them to get one co single copy here and there. You don't have to get every single hero. You could save them up and try to get dupes to make sure you can max them out. And I think that's a better strategy, honestly. All right. So we're going to have another limited recruitment event on some servers. Boda, Pluno, and Randall will be available. All right, new galactic treasure event where their rewards will be warrior stones. Uh, details gathering event where it'll be, the rewards will be bot mark, rusted gears, diamonds, and mythic runes. Jamuzo's bell as well, where we'll have Barog, Boda, and mythic divine prototype Titan Hammer. All righty. Project premium, premium Development, as I mentioned, and then that new Endless Battle. That event will start. During the event, you could earn points by challenging the bosses to exchange for bingo coins to draw rewards. All right. Now we have game content adjustments and optimizations. Added a new boss, Thunder Dragon Cypher, to Katosian Triangle, which will drop new equipment sets, Bug Master, and Unleashed. You can challenge Thunder Dragon Cypher every Monday, Friday, and Sunday after passing stage progress 35-40. Bugmaster is a two-piece equipment set. Damage dealt by the user or their summons is increased by 50% against normal bugs, elites, and bosses. The effect of the set cannot stack. Currently, the normal bug boss only includes the boss in the Endless Battle. Please refer to the new version for the actual values. Increase the damage dealt by the user or their summons against bugs, elites, and bosses. So a very specific boss um, set. That's interesting. That could be really good for Turbine maybe to help improve our damage. Because and bosses, or is it only against bugs? Wait, the current normal bug boss only includes. Is it normal bugs, elites, and bosses? Does it mean boss bugs, or does it mean any? I don't know. Okay, now I'm questioning that. Definitely questioning that. It's a little bit confusing. I guess we'll have to see. All right, unleashed four piece equipment set. Increase attack speed by 250. For every three basic attacks, increases the next damage by 75 to 100%. Bonus damage scales with attack speed. All right, new set to play with for some of those fun comps, like maybe instead of gluttony. All right, legendary equipment disassemble function. Legendary equipment can be disassembled into smelting coins, and different types of smelting coins will be obtained dependently on the type of instance in which the legendary equipment belongs. For example, Warrior, Guardian, Radiant, Sun, Signet, Overlord, Hawkeye, Isolate. Okay, I'm not going to read all the sets. Will be converted into ancient altar smelting coins, etc. I'm not going to read that giant paragraph listing all the sets. You get the idea. You're going to get a special coin depending on where you farm that gear. Easy enough. So that way you can smelt with the coins instead of having to leave the gear. You can go ahead. I love this. This is a really great addition to help us gear cleanse easier. Instead of having to worry about smelting in the moment and having to decide, okay, what gear do I actually need right now? You can just go ahead and cleanse all your bad gear. You could roll it, don't like it, crunch it, roll it, don't like it, crunch it, roll it, don't like it, crunch it, and just make a whole bunch of coins and then do your smelting later and you can get rid of that gear that's clogging up your inventory. I've been full in my inbox again, for sure. 
All right. When disassembling the forged legendary equipment, all of the used metal eyes will be returned. Oh, I like that. Wonderful. We're never going to run out of artifact enhancement materials, that's for sure. Equipment enhancement materials. Smelting coins that belong to the same instance type as equipment will be syn synthesized and can be used for smelting. All right, add a divine prototype disassemble function. Oh. Divine, though? Come on, what about all the other ones that are sitting? What about, like, the hundreds of yellow ones I got sitting in there from pain runes and stuff? All right. Oh, wait, divine prototype. That is that. Not It doesn't say mythic. Oh. It doesn't say mythic. <gasps> or does it? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's read. When the divine prototypes reach max level, the redundant identical divine prototypes more than six obtained, will be automatically disassembled according to the following rules. Rare divine prototypes will be converted into two-hour... Ugh. The furnaces. Okay. At least there's some use for them, I guess. Elite divine prototypes converted into eight-hour... Uh, and then epic divine prototypes converted into the 24-hour furnaces. And mythic divine prototypes will be converted into universal crystal shards. I, I don't know that I care too much about... Uh, all right, whatever. At least it's something, I guess, for sake of using those resources so they're not just sitting there collecting dust. Although it would have been nice to have more options, maybe, like a shop or something for that as a currency. All right. When this function is released, it will automatically disassemble the... Uh, oh... Okay, no options. It's just happening. <laughs> it will automatically disassemble the identical divine prototypes that you already have. The disassembly rewards will be sent by mail. All right, added a new rage system. Barog's energy bar is replaced by a rage bar. In battle, he cannot recover rage through normal attacks. He can only recover rage through the number of times he is hit, but the recovery speed is faster. Interesting. Added a new mythic divine prototype, Titan Hammer, for tank heroes. When tank heroes activate knockdown, they will receive damage by 25% against enemies for 5 seconds, as well as additionally da deal damage equal to 20% of their current HP. This effect only activates once every 3 seconds. They will increase damage by 25%. Oh, I thought it said take damage. Okay, I don't know if I just misread that or in my head I did. They will increase damage by 25% against enemies. Okay. I thought they meant they were going to get more damage. Like, they would get increased damage to them. I was like... That was a little bit of a weird wording. Okay, next. Added Mythic commander auto disassembly function to the commander system the mythic commanders can be disassembled into six medals of honor added artos to com the compatible heroes list for to the commander hagridon optimize the red dots for guild hunt optimize the background buttons of the recruiting system and optimize the screen of equipment substats so we sh should see some visual changes as well and last but not least, we have some bug fixes. Fixed an issue where the opponent's hyper-evolution level was not displayed on the arena battle preparation interface. Fix the abnormal sound effects of Bailey Hudson. Fix the issue of the pop-up window of a limited recruitment event that's not been opened may show up when logging into a weak network environment. Weird. Like, it's just like... Oh yeah, go summon for Leo. Just kidding, he's not there. <laughs> anyway, already decent update. We got an interesting looking new hero. Uh, we have new content dropping with two new bosses. One is an endless battle event. One being Katosian Triangle. We've got a ton of new quality of life features added. This was a really solid update. Lots of great improvements. Lots of great stuff for managing our resources. And I, yeah, this was a wonderful, wonderful update. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.